Good morning. About to head out for five or six miles. I haven't decided yet. It's a beautiful day. It's uh, 36 degrees right now, I think. But if, maybe it's feels like 28, something like that, uh, with the wind. Um, it's really nice. And um, yeah, about to do it. So I'm going to do five or six miles. <clears throat> and then I'm going to come back. And we're going to work on fixing a wheelbarrow. What a day. It's going to be great. Let's do it. Hey guys. So I uh, was planning on doing six once I got out there. I thought, yeah, heck yeah, let's do six. Um, but I didn't wear my yak tracks today because I looked at the road this morning and it all looked clean and clear. But I didn't consider black ice. So that was a mistake. <laughs> <clears throat> there were spots when I probably would have done better ice skating than running. So I decided rather than risking injury, we'll just wrap it up at five and uh, call it a day. But it's beautiful out. What a wonderful, wonderful winter day. Oh man, it's nice. I, um, I encountered a dog on my run, a country dog. Uh, and as country dogs do, they run down their driveway and bark at you and are semi-terrifying. So I, uh, I don't know what to do in those situations. It doesn't happen very often, but I stopped and I showed him that I didn't have anything. And I talked very gently, hey, hey guy. And eventually he turned around <laughs> and went back. But uh, it's always a little scary. Um, anyway, that was the most exciting thing other than the black ice and almost tripping not tripping, slipping, and, but it was great. What a great run. What a fantastic day, you guys. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna eat some breakfast and stretch, not in that order, and uh, work on a wheelbarrow and live life. All right. Here's a quick look at the stats, 5.05 miles, a uh, nice easy pace of 9.08. Hooray! Today's job on the homestead is to fix the crossbar of this wheelbarrow. We don't have a welder. So we're going to makeshift one out of some heavy-duty plywood. Let's do it. So I'm going to spray it with some WD-40. bolt is stuck. Actually the nut is stuck. <laughs> so instead of using a screwdriver and a wrench to get it off, we're going to use a sawzall. So let's do it. So this will be the new crossbar. Um, 
this maybe three quarters inch uh, thick plywood. Um, just did a rough, a rough measurement of what the original was. Gave myself a little bit extra working room just in case. And now I'm gonna cut it and then drill it and use this as the crossbar. So now I'm just going to mark where I want my holes to be. Yes. Okay. There. Okay. So there we have it, good as new. The wheelbarrow is no longer wobbly and uh, shouldn't fall over the next time we try to load it with wood or ashes or whatever we're doing. So that was easy, quick fix. Um, good solution for whatever wood we had lying around and we didn't have to buy anything. So it's all fixed up, um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you feel so inclined, please like or subscribe, and I'll see you next time, either on the run or on the farm.